Hi guys, it's Gradia from Hair by Gradia, and I am coming to you with another quick video because everybody likes healthy hair. Check me out on www.hairbygradia.com, Instagram at Hair by Gradia, Facebook at Hair by Gradia, Snapchat at Hair by Gradia. Okay, so today's video I'm going to be going over the questions from my Ask Me Anything. If you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, there was a post that said Ask Me Anything. So question number one was, what are some of the best moisturizers for relaxed hair, especially during the winter months? Uh, for me, one of my favorite moisturizers, I don't have it here with me, but is the Mazzani Rose Water, the Rose H2O. It's just a great moisturizer uh, for winter, spring, summer, and fall, and I use it when I am relaxed. The second question was, what's the worst thing people do to their hair? Performing chemical services at home is one of the worst things that people do to their hair. That includes relaxing, uh, box color, perms, curly perms, whatever it is that you want um, to put in that category. There's really a chemistry to these things. And people don't realize that there's a chemistry to hair. It's not just that we get out of school and we slap a relaxer on your hair or there is a science to what we do. And so when these things are placed in a box um, and people feel like they can just walk in the store and take it home, well, that's more money for us because nine out of 10 times, you're gonna mess it up and you're gonna come knocking on our doors and we have to fix it. So, what products would you recommend for locks, especially during winter months? Assuming that she's washing often and she's not using too many um, heavy butters and that's up to you to play around with your hair to see what your hair likes. I always recommend that, especially if people have locks, or wearing a lot of braids during the winters, to do a mixture of oils and water. That's it. You can always put some essential oils in there if you want. But do that mixture, keep it in the spray bottle, and mist your hair and mist your scalp whenever you can. The next question is, what products can you recommend for transitioning from relaxed hair to natural? You'll need a moisturizing shampoo, deep conditioner with protein, um, and lots of protective styling. One of the products that I do recommend for the deep conditioning is the Salon Exclusives Gold Conditioner. I use it for my leave out, it keeps my hair strong, and it has a great slip. And that's something that you need for transitioning because you're dealing with two different textures. You need something that's gonna allow you to work through your hair. Because you're working with two textures, it makes it a little difficult to deal with. So I tell people, throw in some braids, throw in your weave. Um, another thing that you can do is do a rod set or a spiral set. So a flexi rod set can last you anywhere between a week and a half to two weeks. Um, the fifth question is, uh, my child wants to wear her natural hair out, but its ends are so dry, after a day or two, she goes back to wearing it in a puffball. What is the best thing to keep from getting it so dry? Clarify, deep condition, moisturize, and then use some heavy butters. Um, heavy butters are not always bad for your hair. They're bad when you're not using it the right way. put on the heavy butters and that'll help to protect her hair from the harsh winds and from the cold and it'll also help to seal in the moisture. That moisture is gonna come from deep conditioning her hair um, and using a proper moisturizer. And remember, oils are not moisturizers. You need to find a moisturizer that is water-based, all right? Also, put on those heavy butters when your hair is wet or damp because the butters will seal in the moisture. If you suck up all the moisture out of your hair before you put the butters on, you're not sealing much in. I wanna go natural, how do I start? At understand why you want the change. Longer hair, do you want healthier hair? A lot of people go natural because they feel like going natural means that they don't have to take care of their hair as much as they did when it was relaxed. That's not true. Understand why you're doing what you're doing. Don't just follow the trends because it's not that easy. Yes, chemicals can break your hair down faster, but if you don't take care of your hair, it's not gonna grow as long, it's gonna continue to break, it's gonna continue to stay at whatever length it is that you're struggling with. 
The third one is to have patience. And the fourth is to just start. Just start. People, I feel like people want to have this whole playbook on going natural. The best you can do is to just start and learn along the way because your hair is not going to be like my hair. You can watch my videos, you can watch the next person's videos, you can read all the blogs that you want, but everybody's hair does its own thing. So, you know, just start and learn your hair. Another question was, if I choose to dye my own hair, should I be using pre-mixed products, boxed, dark and lovely, versus mixing my own? The worst thing that people can do to their hair is to perform chemical services at home. I can't, I'm, I'm not, not I can't, I'm not going to give anybody advice on chemical services at home. That's the one thing that I won't do, it's just too risky. There's a science to it, there's a chemistry, there's a method to the madness, and it's just not that easy. So if you're gonna go about that, you are going about it at your own risk, okay? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit my website, www.hairbygardia.com. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you very soon.